WAC120 basic setup. Hi everybody, today we're going to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to set up the Netgear WAC120 SOHO 802.11ac gigabit wireless access point and be up and running with a wireless AC network in minutes. 802.11ac or wireless AC is the next generation Wi-Fi standard. It runs on the 5 GHz band and can perform many times faster than wireless N. The WAC120 can provide up to 1.2 gigabits per second of wireless throughput when the 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz bands are utilized concurrently. By default, the WAC120 has an IP address of 192.168.0.100, so our first step is to manually change the IP address of my PC so that it is also on the 192.168.0 network. For the sake of time, I've already done that, so the next step is to open up our browser and enter in 192.168.0.100. The default username and password is admin password. Be sure to change the default password to something a little more secure. Once we're logged in, click on Configuration Security. Since we're creating a Wi-Fi hotspot on the 5 GHz band, be sure to click on the 802.11a slash na slash ac tab. Next, click on Edit. What we're going to do here is to edit the default security profile and adjust its parameters to something uh, more suitable for our network. In this demo, we're going to leave the wireless network name, or SSID, the way it is. When you're configuring your WAC120, you can name your wireless network to whatever you like. What we really want to change are the authentication settings. By default, it is using an open system, which, unless you're using another layer of authentication somewhere else, is not safe at all. So what we're going to do is change open system to WPA2 PSK and leave data encryption as AES and finally give it a nice and secure passphrase. Click apply. All kidding aside, be sure to give your wireless network a, a more secure password than password. After we configure our security profile settings, the final step is to move the management IP address of the access point back to our usual network. And to do that, go to Configuration IP. As you can see, you have the option to enable the built-in DHCP client on the wireless access point so that it obtains an IP address automatically from your DHCP server. However, for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to simply give it a static IP address. So I'm going to change it from 192.168.0.100 to 192.168.1.100. Enter in its default gateway settings as well as its DNS settings and click apply. Once you click apply, you can safely close your browser window. The next step is to move my PC back to its original network. Once that's done, we can reopen our browser and enter in the new IP address that we gave the access point. And that's it. In a matter of a couple of minutes, we've successfully configured a wireless AC hotspot 
and configured our access point so that it can be managed from our local network. Thanks for watching.